bullshit. Yes, Botchamania app. It is fucking bullshit. What's bullshit, you ask? Well, in Montgomery County, Maryland, the school board yesterday voted to get rid of Easter break, Christmas break, Yom Kippur, anything on the school calendar that recognizes a break that is linked to any sort of holiday, Jewish, Christian, what have you. Now, the students still get off during these, during these time frames where these breaks happen, but they're no longer to recognize them as Christmas, Easter, Yom Kippur, what have you. The reason being is a couple Muslim groups complained to the school saying that the school board, or the schools themselves, did not recognize Islamic holidays. So therefore, they are to include those Islamic holidays since they include both Jewish and Christian holidays on the school calendar. So, what the school board did in a very lawyer-like way, and it's kind of like a snarky way of saying fuck you to Muslims, is that they said, okay, we're not going to recognize any religious holidays because we're not going to recognize yours, so we're not going to recognize Christians or Jewish, ho Jewish holidays as well. So, at the end of December, right before Christmas, we're just going to have winter break. It's not going to be referred to as Christmas anywhere in the school on any sort of document that lists the breaks or anything like that. It's just going to be winter break and we're going to have a spring break in late March or April, whatever, you know, Easter Sunday falls. Uh, we're not going to recognize Yom Kippur on the calendars or anything like that or Passover or anything like that. It's just, it's just going to be a day off. So. This all stemmed from a couple of Muslim groups complaining to the school that their holidays weren't recognized. Now, the school board would all be willing to recognize these holidays and a number of these school boards tweak their, their schedules and as far as what days they allocate to taking off based on one thing, and that is absenteeism. And by the way, I'll leave a link in the video description to an article explaining this above and beyond what I'm going to talk about here so you can check for yourselves. School boards base the days they take off on the school calendar based on absenteeism. Um, a number of kids, just frankly, even if they did have school during the week of Christmas, would not have a significant number of kids show up, so therefore it only makes logical sense to declare that time space as vacant and just give it off. Same with Yom Kippur, there would be extreme absenteeism. Same with Easter, there would be extreme absenteeism. With the Muslim holidays, a lot of these school boards fan, and, you know, it sucks that, you know, a couple of the minority of kids in these school districts which in Montgomery County, there wasn't a significant number of Muslims going to these schools, that it really wasn't worth it to have a, a day pulled off on the calendar and extend the school year a day longer simply because the absenteeism wouldn't really affect, or excuse me, wouldn't be high enough to warrant taking off. So the school boards based it on that decision alone and they said, okay, well, we'll just get around it by just, you know, not acknowledging anyone's holiday. There, are you happy? Now, I think both sides are fucked up on this. Like, I think the way the school board handled it is just like an underhanded way of saying, you know, well, fuck you. Now we're not going to celebrate anyone's religion. And the Islamic groups really didn't need to push the issue because there is, and in public schools across America, you cannot hold a day taken off against someone if it is for religious purposes. You cannot hold that against them. They will not get an absentee day marked against them. Will they miss a day of classwork? I mean, okay, wow, I'm sorry. That, like, they would really fall that far behind? I know, you could make a slight complaint from there, but they cannot be held against them for doing so, so there is no scholastic mark against them if you take off for a holiday. And Another thing about this, and like I said, it's, it's fucked up how the school board did this because it was a snarky way of saying fuck you to Islam. And what the Muslim Islamic groups need to realize that are complaining about this is there has to be a line drawn somewhere. Because all of a sudden, the Scientologist groups, there might be six Scientology children going to the school saying, this school doesn't recognize our holiday because in this school... The, excuse me, in this district in Montgomery County, 
the number of uh, I don't have the numbers here right in front of me, but I saw an article where it explained that the number of Islamic faith-based students is a very small minority in the school. So where do you draw the line of where is a small enough minority to warrant a group complaining to say, okay, we got to take our, our, our special day off too. Uh, the L. Ron Hubbard's birthday is celebrated by Scientologists, so we got to take that off in schools now. Like there has to be a line drawn somewhere, and that's what everyone needs to realize. If you're complaining that your group is getting treated unfairly, you have to understand that lines get drawn in society for a reason. And again, the school boards base the days they take off in the school year based on absenteeism rates. That's all there is to it. If there's not a high volume amount of kids that is taking off for such and such day, it does not make logical sense to remove it from the school calendar and add an extra day to the, to the scholastic year. Anyway, both sides are fucked up because the, the way, like I said, the way, the way the school board handled this, it's just like, okay, fine, no one will have it. Like, you know what? Stick to your fucking guns. Celebrate Christmas on the school calendar. Celebrate Easter on the school calendar. And frankly, I mean, unless there's some, some super hyper Islamophobia that you're afraid they're going to bomb the school or some shit. I mean, let's be realistic. Just stick to your fucking guns. Grow a fucking spine. America's pussified enough as it is. Anyway, school board came to this decision. The Islamic groups complained about it, and in the end, neither side really got what they wanted. So, what does that tell the kids? What does that tell the young, impressionable minds of the kids in these schools? When someone complains, kowtow to them so that you don't get your way and they don't get their way. What kind of fucking lo fucked up logic is that to teach children? I mean, come on. Everyone, everyone had a good point here, but how it concluded was just so fucked up. Anyways, let's see here. What else can the Botchamania app add to this? I love this Botchamania app anyway. So, you know what? At a Christmas time, don't be afraid to celebrate. Jesus! We'll end it on that. And a CZW air horn. Have a good day, everyone.